The natural history of Scout Island is also a human history of change, development, controversy, and revival. After initial opposition to converting Scout Island from a campground to a nature reserve, the community has embraced it as a treasured resource. It took courage, wisdom, and foresight to create the Scout Island Nature Center we treasure today. The effort received crucial support from a visionary funder who recognized the immense value of this vibrant gem of diversity within the urban setting of Williams Lake. Since 1978, the Williams Lake field naturalists have been restoring native vegetation and enhancing habitat, attracting a rich biological community. Generously sharing their love of nature, their wide variety of expertise, and thousands of hours, they have grown Scout Island Nature Center into a source of learning and wonder, inspiring generations of nature lovers to become stewards of the land. Don't pull flowers. One of our maturing stewards is Monica. The love of nature doesn't have to be taught to little children. It's born in them. It just needs to be fed, encouraged, and shared as it was in me. The seeds of my passion for nature were planted when I was just four years old at Spiders, Snakes, and Frogs Preschool. A major goal in all we do is keeping that excitement of discovery alive throughout life. In 2009, we welcomed over 2,800 students from local schools to our indoor and outdoor classrooms to study and feel the wonders of the natural world. I remember my grade four field trip to Scout Island. I got to be the first one to hold the snake, but it must have been a new and frightened snake because it peed all over my hands. Now, whenever I see a snake, I remember our little secret. A few years later, I came with Girl Guides and we got our bird watching badges. Our varied public programs enliven imaginations and introduce concepts of stewardship. Now, as a summer staff, I'm being mentored by volunteer experts with amazing knowledge of so many aspects of nature and teaching. They're giving hours of their time so we can, in turn, become mentors, sharing nature and stewardship lessons that will last lifetimes. After years at Scout Island, I'm finally starting to understand the vast amount of time, money, and dedication it has taken to get Scout Island to where it is today, and it will take to sustain and diversify this amazing sanctuary. I have so much more time now to try to set up connections like that for the education program. And it's because Jenny's here. Okay, so Jenny, are you a volunteer then too, just like Shell? No, actually I am a part-time paid staff thanks to funding from the Stewardship Works pilot program. And it, that gives, lets me do the publicity, the fundraising, some fundraising, uh, membership, keeping track of things that go on around the office so that Sue has way more time to do her wonderful environmental education programs. Cool. As I look ahead in my life, I'm not sure where or who I'll be. But Scout Island will always be part of me, and I will always be a naturalist. Maybe I'll become a teacher like Nara. I started as a preschooler <laughs> at Spider Snakes and Frogs in the basement and, uh, and then I went through as an elementary school kid and then I was a teacher naturalist here during my university years and sort of my high school university years and then um, I became a teacher and started bringing my biology classes down. Maybe I'll be a lifelong volunteer like Fred. When I have been involved uh, with the operation of the Scott Island Nature Center since the late 1970s. When I have children of my own, I'll bring them back to share with them my favorite places at Scout Island. Even when I'm old, I will still love and need nature. Maybe I'll be one of those who are grateful for a place where I can watch the birds and smell the sage even if I can't get around so well. I like to think that after life in my body ends, family and friends will rest on my bench and find my spirit in the living things that surround them.
Without the brave visionaries of the Williams Lake Field Naturalists, without the ongoing support of the community, and without the generosity of funders, Scout Island would still be a barren municipal campground. This precious wetland would have been landfilled to hold even more RVs. We're grateful that they have restored and enhanced the habitats that attract the wildlife, that fascinate the people, and make them want to care for their world. What does Scout Island mean to you? Birds. Butterflies. Turtles. Fun. Wonderful. Nature. Retreat. Magnificent. <laughs> Reflection. A rebirth. Passion. Hide and seek. Well, Connectedness. Afraid. Is that a word? The web of life. It's natural beauty. Spiders, snakes, and frogs. <laughs> it's a treasure. It's very relaxing to take a walk here. Because of the magic. Memories. I used to go to preschool here. Bringing my kindergarten students. I think it's just excellent. I met one of my best friends here. It's a good learning place for everybody, especially the little tiny dots. A wonderful place to look for plants, birds of all types.